What is going on guys, my name is Brucey, welcome back to another video. Before I start, if you ended up liking this video or finding it useful, consider subscribing, it's free, and if you do want in the future, you can always unsubscribe. So you got your vending machine, stock, and everything ready, but the one thing you don't have is a location. So a couple things you have to consider before you find a location is what sort of businesses you'll be approaching, and secondly, how you're going to approach the businesses. So when I say what sort of businesses are you going to be approaching, I mean, is it going to be a pub, is it going to be a bar, is it going to be a play centre, care home, sports facility, anything like that. And the way you want to approach them totally depends on what sort of business it is and what sort of specific things you want to say to them to appeal to them more. So for me personally, I have tubs machines. So the sort of businesses I approach are uh, pubs and bars sort of thing. A couple of the main reasons why I have pubs as my locations are because pubs mostly accept me. I've, I've messaged, uh, it's quite harder to get other, in my personal area, it's quite harder to get, get it in other businesses like uh, play areas because there's a lot of competition in my area so other people already have them at them uh, locations and also for the fact that there's a lot of pubs in my area. Also depending on what machine you have would depend on the target audience you're going for but like I say with me personally I have tubs which sells toys and sweets so my target audience would be sort of children more than uh, adults so obviously if you're in the same position as me I would go for sort of uh, like I say play areas and potentially pubs it depends if it's sort of like child friendly pubs then I would say that's better because uh, obviously a lot of kids can go there as well but um, like I say the machine depends on uh, what your target, target audience is. One of the things I notice a lot of people find hard is actually going to businesses straight up and just speaking to them and asking if they want their uh, their machine in this in their location for example a pub. Uh, me personally I'm quite socially awkward so I don't actually go to pubs and or, or different businesses and just pop up and say hey do you want my machine in there. I actually message them first on uh, Facebook specifically and I sort of have a generic message for all the same ones like I say because I, I only message pubs and, and clubs. Uh, so my message sort of appeals just to them. So on screen now is a generic message I use to uh, get hold of different companies and ask if they want my machine in their company. So it says, good evening, the company. I live local and have a small business providing small sweet dispensers. We pay 20% commission in all sales to you guys and there's no cost to you. They usually do quite well in pubs and bars and I think it could tie quite nicely with your brand. Could I possibly pop by at some point to let you guys take a look and see if you fancy it? They only need around 18 inches of floor space and I come by, top them up and pay for them once a month or more if needed. I will attach a few photos below. Thanks for your time. So as you can see, it's sort of more of an informal message rather than a formal message. Some of the points I tried to give across is the fact that if they have your machine in the location, it's free money for them. They don't have to do anything. You do all the work and all they do is get money paid to them once a month uh, for, like I say, in my instance, 18 inches of space. So it's a tiny space in the corner for them to get free money. Uh, so that's the incentive, that incentive I give them. I've noticed a lot of people in America don't give profits uh, to the actual locations, which if you can do that, I would suggest to do that because obviously it's more money for you. But... Um, I find it's just so much easier just to say, here's some free money, really. Um, so that's why I, I personally offer 20%. You can offer less, you can offer more. Uh, and another thing a lot of people get confused about is you don't have to give money to charity. That can be another incentive because uh, some locations you approach aren't bothered about the money. But if you say the money, the 20%, instead of the 20% going to them, if you say you're offering 20% to charity, then that can be more of an incentive to some people because they're not bothered about the money. But if it's going to charity, obviously, give a tiny bit of your space in your pub for money for charity what a good cause so yeah that's the generic message i put at the moment uh to be honest i might change it but we'll see how we go in my personal experience to be honest being realistic the chances of getting a location in my area is like one in 50 i'll be totally honest so i normally try and sort of be say stay self-motivated and self-disciplined and sort of message uh companies try and message say 10 a day um and obviously you'll get about one location a week some people, some people might argue that it should be like 1 in 10. If you, if you go and approach companies, it might be 1 in 10 chance, a lot better. But the difference is, like I say, it's a lot faster for me. A lot of other people sort of walk into the locations and ask. Uh, whereas me, I just literally copy and paste the message to five, 10 different companies. It only takes 5 minutes and if they all deny it, that's fine. But I find it's a lot quicker. Even though the success rate isn't as good, it's a lot quicker. And also it doesn't involve you driving to different places. To, uh, to even see if they want their machine in your company. So in, in my personal opinion, that's a better option. But like I say, if you want a better success rate, it might be worth going and actually speaking to them. But if you're anti antisocial like me, I'll just message them. And once you get a location that accepts you, like this here, it's easy money from there. All you have to do is take your machine, fill it up, explain the process to them. 
in every experience I've had, all the people that accept your machines are, they tend to be really nice people. So you just go there, act natural, show them the machine, uh, and just like I say, just explain that you do all the work and they get free money. Uh, and apart from that, it's pretty easy, pretty easy money, passive income. And the thing is, depending on your location, you might visit once a month. Some of them can be once a month, but some of them can be up to like once a week or even sooner, once every three days, four days, depending on how good the machines are. Sorry, depending on how good the locations are. So yeah, from that, it's pretty passive income, easy money. You've only got to go there, refill it, uh, re refill the machines, give the money to the location and just go. It, it, it's honestly, after, after you put up the, the initial effort in, it's passive income, it's easy. You can be asleep while people are going into your pubs and buying the sweets, so easy money. So I hope this video helped. If you guys have any questions, comment down below and I'll try and answer all of them. Also, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, you can, Like I say, you can always unsubscribe. It's totally free to subscribe. If you don't want to in the future, just unsubscribe. That's absolutely fine. But hopefully you guys can learn a lot about business and specifically vending. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.